Hi, Jeannie Patel Thompson here. I had a really great question come in um, from someone who's part of the laser tapping program, the course. And I wanted to do a video about it because again, it's a great question, which is applicable to anybody with any kind of chronic illness condition, or perhaps you have um, something happening in your life on an emotional um, scale. Maybe you, you're like, I don't know why I always have this anxiety. I don't know why I always have my temper flares all the time. I can't seem to get my anger under control. Like anything that's negative for you, that's chronic and ongoing, this question, my answer to this question is gonna to apply to you. So I wanna read it to you. Dear Jeannie, I find the laser tapping a helpful tool to take off some of my pressure that might be causing my bowel pain. I am not able to cope with doing it daily all the time, but it does seem to help me get grounded. The other day during a bowel movement, I tried tapping under my right arm, so that's this point here, and that seemed to help my stool release out of my body, so I thought there must be something to keeping those channels open or flowing. Possibly the laser tapping helps bring other issues to my awareness that I know are tied into my constipation, colitis, hemorrhoids, fistulas, infection. Okay, so what she said that last piece that laser tapping helps to bring to her awareness and helps her to focus on all of, I call them feeder roots, okay? So whatever symptom or condition you're experiencing, think of it like a tree that's in full bloom with branches and leaves, maybe got some fruit on there, but it's, you know, it's a thing. But what is supporting and feeding the thing? Well, it's all these roots that come in. And so what laser tapping does is we're not gonna sit there and cut the branches and pick the fruit and try to address it that way or pour chemicals on the tree. We're gonna go to the roots and we're gonna address and heal each of those roots, right? Because healthy roots mean a healthy tree. <laughs> diseased roots mean a diseased tree. You can do whatever you want to the tree above the ground. If those roots are diseased, imbalanced, um, whatever words you wanna use for the negative state of those roots, the tree cannot be healthy. So this is a better way of looking at any kind of chronic condition. Um, so when you're using whatever mind body healing tool resonates with you, right, whether it's laser tapping, hypnotherapy, craniosacral at a somato emotional release level, somato experiencing therapy, like as long as it's a mind body integrated therapy, okay, it's not just talking about my problems, talk, 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 useless, okay, but you have a mind body integrated therapy, whatever that is. When you start using it, you will start with usually what's on the top layer. So for someone, let's say we'll take colitis. Maybe your top layer of this is you're like, I just have this anxiety. I have this anxiety that's all, oh, well, what is anxiety? Okay, we start tapping on anxiety. And as we tap on anxiety, we realize that what's lying underneath anxiety is fear. Okay, well, what are you afraid of? And then you get into the specifics of it. Well, I'm afraid of this and I'm afraid of that. Well, why do you think you're, why do I think, why do I think I'm afraid of that? I wonder why I might be afraid of that. Oh, and then a memory comes up of something that happened in your childhood that triggered the fear and trauma response. And it's been locked in your body ever since. And that's where you then can go, okay, here's the big session. Let's tap on this memory, this trauma that's come up. And then as you tap on that, you might have other memories come up that are related. Well, okay, clear those all at the same time. Let's go into all of those little feeder roots that are coming into what we think is the issue, but it's not. It's the roots that are the issue. So that's where um, a mind body, integrated mind body tool like laser tapping is super powerful. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna just tap on your symptoms. Like you'll feel better, you'll have a little bit of relief, but you're not gonna get the root level healing, right? Your issue is not your colitis, your hemorrhoids, your constipation. 
right? Const think, let's look at constipation. This is a very simple, a much more simple one, right? What part of you is refusing to release, right? So you've got the throat and you've got the rectum. They're at the two ends of the body. Energetically, there's a lot of similarities. This is, you speak and it comes out. You defecate, it goes out, right? You take in food, it goes in. So where is the constriction happening with your interface with life itself? Okay, letting that sink in for a minute. You, you would want to look at where are you afraid to interface with life itself? What comes up for you? You may have a couple of different things that, that come to your mind. Maybe each one of those is a tapping session. Or you might have just some general thing like we're back to fear. Well, because I'm actually afraid. What are you afraid of? Write it down. Why do you think you're afraid of those things? Write it down. Okay, now start tapping. Because the, the beauty of tapping is those answers came from your conscious mind. All right, which is great. It's helpful. But that's not where the roots are. <laughs> so the conscious mind provides you with that first layer. And then when you start tapping, now you're unlocking the energetic layer, you're tapping into the subconscious, which is what's actually driving your bus. And then the real stuff can start to emerge. Like as you as you start tapping, and you go through the points, you'll just things will suddenly come to you, you'll suddenly realize something, okay, and then you might switch and start tapping on that. So, so whatever symptoms you have, or whatever disease condition or illness or imbalance that you have, don't so much think of the thing, the constipation, the colitis, think of all those things that are sticky for you. You know, like I'm going to give you a really concrete example. Um, back when I first got introduced to uh, acupressure tapping, I booked 10 sessions with a therapist who specialized in illness and chronic disease, because I thought anybody who specializes in chronic illness understands the layers that go into things. And the issue that I wanted help with at that time was that my metabolism was running so high that I was having to force feed myself just to maintain my weight. I was eating four meals a day, plus an absorb plus shake, and I could barely maintain my weight. I was also breastfeeding one of my children who also had a similarly high metabolism. So I was like, this is insane. And I'd done a lot of reading about how the EFT, the acupressure tapping could increase people's metabolism so they could lose weight. And I thought, well, if they can increase it, they can bring it down. And that's what I need. I need my metabolism lowered. I need to retain weight. So I booked 10 sessions and I was like, I have got to get this handled. Well, let me tell you, we did not tap on metabolism for any of those 10 sessions <laughs> because what was driving my metabolism to mm, up in high gear like that was all kinds of other emotional issues. And one of the main ones was parental guilt. I was running this, my whole parenting was, I have to do this and I have to do that. And I have to do that because I must be a good mom. My own personal standard for myself was that I must judge myself as a good mom. And so all this stuff came under the good mom column and I had to hit, I had to meet, I had to fulfill all of those things that I had determined comprised a good mom, you see? So that's where we were doing the tapping was dissolving these guilt driven judgments and patterns and decisions and, and that I'd made. And then so, and then as that guilt complex unwound. Well, guess what else we found? We found um, basically PTSD and trauma response from my childhood of being beaten as a kid. So I was hyper vigilant. I was on hyper alert. I had a high startle reflex. So like if there was a loud noise, was a, I would be like this. I'd be like this all the time because someone who's from childhood had to be alert 
to reading the signs because they're very life dependent on it, that locks their nervous system into this hyper aware, hyper vigilant state. So the nervous system is right. It's running on high here. It's super alert. It's super vigilant. And guess what? The metabolism follows the nervous system. So as I realized those points, and then I started to tap on, you know, all of that locked in trauma and that hyper awareness and the hyper vigilance and, and then my nervous system dropped. And that was amazing. I will remember that for the rest of my life because it's like, you know, when you have a stove and you turn on the range hood fan to suck away the smoke or the fumes, boom, that fan goes, right? You, you like it because you're thankful it's clearing your smoke. Well, and then at a certain point, you realize, oh my God, turn off the fan. And you turn off that fan and your whole body does this because you didn't even notice that the noise of that fan was making your nervous system do this. And then when you turn the fan off, oh, silence, oh, that's nice. And that's what it feels like when you downregulate your nervous system for the first time, because I had not even been aware. My nervous system had run up there literally from birth. So I had, I didn't know what peace felt like. I didn't know what, you know, your, your untraumatized person's nervous system felt like or was running out. I'd never experienced it. First time in my life. Oh, and when that dropped, my metabolism dropped. And guess what? My son's metabolism dropped too. Because we're linked, which is why we can surrogate tap for our children because we are completely, our energy fields are so linked, right? In, in quantum physics, it's called the theory of entanglement. And you can take those pieces and you can separate them universes apart. And when this thing does this, the other one does this because they've been entangled at the frequency vibrational field. And that same thing happens with humans. So this is more of how to use laser tapping so that you actually can create that shift in your life. And, you know, maybe you, if you're getting stuck or you've got some really stubborn resistances, that's when you book a session with a therapist. Because even, even me having known the technique and trained as an instructor, occasionally I would book with a therapist because sometimes we, there's a big thing there that we can't see or we can't, or our resistance is just too high. And that's when it really helps to work with a therapist to get you over that piece. And then you can do the next 10 pieces by yourself. And then maybe something else comes up. That's another big feeder route and you book a session with the therapist, right? So also give yourself that freedom to book in with a therapist. And I, I have some recommendations in the program for people who I've worked with personally that I feel are really good. Um, and book with them to get you past the blocks, to get you past the big resistance pieces. And then you can go back to your own tapping or inside your membership portal, you've got over 20 tap along video sessions with me on common things that everyone faces. So it maybe you don't really know where to start. We'll go to those tap along sessions, pick a topic that you're like, yeah, I do that. Yeah, I feel that. Just start there, do one a week. Right. And, and so second part of her email, no, you do not need to tap every day. I mean, you could do it in China. They do it every day as a health maintenance, but they're not engaging the mind. They're not doing a session. They're just tapping through the points. Right. And oftentimes right here on the thymus thumb point, you just tap here and just let yourself feel what you feel but you don't need to go into and do a session. It's, it's too heavy. It takes a lot of energy to heal and move around that kind of energy. So usually one session a week is a good guideline. Um, for obviously for me, when I booked those 10 sessions, my husband had taken my kids on a trip and I did 10 sessions in um, 10 days. I did a session a day and the therapist was like, 
I don't know how you're going to be. And I'm like, I'm going to be fine. I've cleared the time. If I have to go home and just lie in bed after every session, I'm prepared to do that because I understood healing takes a lot of energy, but I need, because of my lifestyle and having the young children, I had to do it quick. So on the flip side of that, I gave my physical body, my emotional and spiritual body, maximum support, having those intensive tapping sessions. So, you know, everyone can move at their own pace, but just make sure that you're not beating up your body to heal it. Okay. Like, as I say, when you do the sessions with me, I'm like, go drink some water, have some rest, give yourself time and space. Healing takes a lot of energy. So hope that's helped you all. And, um, any other questions, just email them into me and, if it's a short answer, we get back to you right away. But if it's something more involved like this, I'll just do another video for you guys. Happy time.